Hey welcome back everyone today we are talking about conditionally independent events now i've seen a lot of candidates they are very much confused with this conditionally independent events concept so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to break this thing down i'm going to give two examples and hopefully you will be able to understand this thing in a clear way but before we move on to this particular topic let's learn a little bit of basics that is needed to understand conditionally independent events so where the very first thing is independent events now i can say that two events that is a and b i can say that these two events are independent if the occurrence of one event does not have any effect on the occurrence of the other event okay let's say here that we have inflation and coin toss now these two events are pretty much independent of each other if i toss a coin whatever happens okay maybe heads tails whatever happens that outcome does not have any effect on the inflation of a particular economy right similarly inflation will have no effect on the outcome of the coin toss so i can pretty much say that these two events are independent because having the occurrence knowing the outcome of one event a will not have any effect on the outcome of the other event which is b talking about the other type is the dependent events let's say inflation and money supply if in a particular economy if the money supply is increased then definitely there is a high probability that inflation will also go up right and if money supply is decreased then there is a chances that inflation will come down so i can pretty much say that money supply does have an effect on inflation right so i can say that event a and event b they are dependent upon each other finally we need to understand what is a conditional probability now this conditional probability is one of the most important topic in uh, uh, the entire fundamentals of probability chapter if i am told that the probability of a recession given interest rate increase then i can say that it is a conditional probability it's written as the probability of a this vertical bar is known as given that b has already occurred okay so let's say in our example we are given the probability of recession given interest rate has increased so i can i can call this thing as the conditional probability basically what conditional probability means is that there is one event which has already occurred and after the occurrence of this particular event what is the probability of another event which in our example is recession i can also give you another example that let's say that given the ratings of a particular bond okay ratings has gone down of a particular bond now what is the probability of default of that particular bond okay so this is a conditional probability we are already given the information that the ratings of a particular bond has already been downgraded then what is the probability of default of that particular event okay hopefully now you understand what is a conditional probability all right so moving on to conditionally independent events let's see the definition here if two events conditional on a third event are independent we say they are conditionally independent now this definition seems to be very confusing but what we're going to do is i'm going to bring out two examples here the very first example here is that we have event a which is height and event b which is grades now as soon as i'm given the third event here which is c and that is in our example it is age so let's say that the age of a particular child is 8 years okay so now this individual probability will become conditional probabilities now notice that height of a particular student will have no effect on the grades of a particular child because we are already given the information that the student is of 8 years of age and if the age of the child is 8 years then i can pretty much say he must be in a certain grade let's say third grade so all the students who are 8 years of age they will be in third grade so as you can see height will not define what the grade of a particular child should be no matter what the height is if if the student is 8 years then he must be in third grade 
Similarly, if I give you the information that the age of a child is let's say 12 years, then I can say that he must be in a 7th standard or 7th grade. Now height, again height will not define what the grade of a particular child is because I'm given the information that we have the age of a student. So the entire point is that if I add another event C, I can make these initially dependent events and I can convert them into conditionally independent events. And that's the idea of conditionally independent events. Let's take another example to understand this. So here what I have is the probability of default of a particular bond and I have the money with the issuer. Now if I give you more information that let's say that the issuer has lots of money to pay for the coupons and the principal then definitely the probability of that particular bond will come down right it does have an impact now let's take a situation that the money with the issuer is very less he doesn't have money to pay off the coupons of the principal then obviously the probability of that particular default will increase right so as you can see i can pretty much conclude that event a and event b they are dependent upon each other now once i add another event c here which is in our example is government security if i give you some more information that this particular bond is a government security now money will have no effect on the probability of a particular bond because i'm known that it's a government security and if it is a government security then the probability of default will be least because there is an implicit guarantee that the, that the bond will not default given it's a government securities okay so what we have done here is that i've gone ahead i've put a third event in these two we have made the initially dependent events into conditionally independent events and that's the idea of conditionally independent events now have a look here two events they may be independent at first but they can also be conditionally dependent now what does this mean that let's say if i'm given two events a and b if they are independent okay in the very first place initially they are independent but if i add a condition if i add a third event then i can make them dependent as well and that's what this thing says here is there any way that can we find if there are two conditional probabilities are they independent or dependent is there any particular formula or something yes there is one and that is here so if i'm given the conditional probability of a given c and if i'm also given the conditional probability of b given c and if i multiply both these probabilities and if that is equal to the joint probability of a and b given this c if that is equal then i can say that they are conditionally independent events if i multiply both these conditional probabilities and if they are not equal then i can say that it's not a conditionally independent events so now hopefully you have a clear picture as to what conditionally independent events are all right with this thank you so much for your time and have a great day ahead